A few days ago I have watched number 5's video on squaring primes and they stated in the video it was about prime numbers. <laughs> Papa Fermi's Advent Calendar. Oh, I, Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Fleming's Advent Calendar. A few days ago, I have watched Number Five's video on squaring primes, and they stated in the video, it was about prime numbers, <laughs> that every prime number greater than three is nearly divisible by six, meaning it's close to a multiple of six. For example, seven is six plus one. So this prime number seven is one more than a multiple of six, or prime numbers can be one less than a multiple of six. How can we write this in mathematical terms to prove this? So you can either have six divides p plus one, or we have six divides p minus one. What does divide mean? On this part, for example, it just means that p minus 1 can be expressed as 6 times k, where k is just element of the integers. To prove this statement up here, we have to consider six main cases. So let's just take a look at some random arbitrary integer. Later on, we want it to be a prime number. We are going to restrict it a bit. Either an integer is divisible by 6, it's 1 more than a multiple of 6, 2 more than a multiple of 6, blah blah blah, until 5 more than a multiple of 6. Why are those all the cases? We are going to talk about this in a second. Let's write all the cases out in mathematical terms. Let's consider some n element of natural numbers. Well, it can be either 6 times k, so divisible by 6, or it can be n being equal to 6 times k plus 1, blah blah blah, plus 2, 6 times k plus 3, n equals to 6 times k plus 4, or we have n equals to 6 times k plus 5, okay? Why are those all the cases? Well, if we go one step further, n equals to 6 times k plus 6, we can factor out the 6 right here, 6 times k plus 1. And k plus 1 is once again just an integer, meaning that would be the same definition as this right here, that 6 divides this number n right here. Okay, I hope you can see where this came from. We are going to get rid of this one right here. And now we are going to go through all the cases right here because now we want n to be a prime number. What does prime number mean? Well, it's only divisible by one and itself. Well, you see right here, six times k, it's, well, six divides n, so this doesn't work. This doesn't correspond to a prime number. Same spiel here. We can factor out the 2. So we have 2 times 3k plus 1, meaning 2 divides this n right here. So this also doesn't correspond to a prime number. Same spiel down here. We can factor out the 2 once again. So this is 2 times 3k plus 2. 2 divides n. So this doesn't work out either. So we have 3 cases less left. This one, this one, or this one. Let's consider this case n equals to 6k plus 3. Well, obviously, we can factor out the 3 right here. This is 3 times 2k plus 1. Well, 3 divides this number n right here, so this also doesn't correspond to a prime number. So our only two cases left are n is equal to 6 times k plus 1, or we have n, um, this one right here, n is equal to 6 times k plus 5. Now we want to go back to our original statement right here. Why not subtract the 1 on this first one right here? That means n minus 1 is equal to 6 times k plus 1 minus 1. This is just 0, so we have 6 times k. Meaning, equivalently right here, that 6 divides n minus 1, where our n is just p now, you could say. So we can interpret this as a prime number. That was our restriction. Same spiel here. Why not add a 1 on both sides? So that means that n plus 1 is now 6k plus 6, because 5 plus 1 is 6, it's a success of 5. And now we can factor out the 6 on both terms. So we have 6 times k plus 1. k plus 1 is just element of the integers. Once again, they are closed under addition, meaning overall that 6 divides n plus 1, where n is once again our p. And this is basically it. So we have basically shown that there are only two cases which could apply to prime numbers, either that 6 divides n plus 1 
or 6 divides n minus 1. For example, 5, it's 6 minus 1. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. Buy the merch I create or support the channel on Patreon. And up until the next video, have a number file day, I guess. See ya! Könnt ihr einfach das machen, was ihr vorher schon gemacht habt?